Hey YouTube, it's that dude named Dave and welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Before we get started, my price for mission, like, subscribe, and the bell notification below. You guys are watching my videos, but you're all not sub yet. So let me help you by helping me out here and give you guys a few seconds to do this. Okay, we got that few seconds out the way, no long intros. Today's video, we're coming back to support court. We have the father, taking the mother of the court saying that she is not around and he needs help with the kids here with support. So we're gonna get to the video and we're gonna try to make this make sense. Well, Your Honor, I've been with the defendant for about 10 years now. Okay. We had uh, children probably around my years, about 19, 20. Okay, and, how uh, old are they? They're eight and five. All right. And uh, right now, I'm an artist, Your Honor. Um, that's how I met her. She was stripping. I was, and I'm an exotic dancer. She was stripping, Your Honor. I'm an exotic and that's dancer. that's how I met her. They was playing me in the club. Cause I'm an artist, like I said, Your Honor. Oh, you she's were? she's the one slowing me down with the children. What? And so, like I said, we've been together for about 10 years. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get started here, she is a stripper or exotic dancer and he met her in the club while they was playing his music wait is this a real life version of p valley with my man uh little murder up in the club getting it in is, is this what we got here we got p valley in the mix here oh lord i digress let's get back to the video years now we got an eight and a five year old mm -hmm. and she's never there to take care of her. i'm there for my i kids. can't even do what i excuse can't. me ma'am let him speak I, and then I can assure you I'll get over to you. And do me a favor, you're making me dizzy, rocking back and forth. Yeah, just, I know you're probably nervous. Just, you know, I. everybody nervous when they come to court. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And you're yep. probably nervous looking at me. <laughs> so it's okay. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> the judge, Judge Vonda getting a little saucy lately. She's like, hey, you know what? Enough of the rocking back and forth, all right? I know you in court nervous, but I don't like that. Okay, Judge, you got a little bit into you today. Let's get back here. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, so children are eight and five. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. She was working as an exotic dancer. Yeah. You're an artist. You all live together. We used to. Yes. All yeah, right, yeah. so when, hold on. Sorry. How long ago did you all stop living together? We stopped living together about, I want to say, three years ago. All right. And where do the children live currently? With me. And they've why. been living with you for the past they've three years? They've been living with okay. me. She comes at two times of the week, take them to the park. She's taking them to get a kid's meal, but that I'm, I'm the one that's got to deal with the harassment because... I got to do what I got to do. What? Ma'am, ma'am. Huh? Ma what is it with today? Everybody want to interrupt each other. I'm so sorry. I'm yeah, so, don't so be sorry. sorry, just don't do it. It's that simple. I got you, y'all. She's coming in with a kid's meal, Your Honor, on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm doing the bond for my daughter on Thursday. Okay. You know, and, and getting them to ready for school on Friday. And so that's where the problem is. Like I said, we just can't even stay together no more. And that's why I brought her to the court. Okay. So you're asking for child support. Health insurance. What health insurance do you have for the children? Um, I don't have any health insurance right now, Your Honor. Okay. So are they on Medicaid? Yes. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you want me to know before I move over to mom? Well, the kids are getting harassed in school right now. Why are they being harassed? Because she's stripping, Your Honor, and everybody knows it. Okay, we're going to use exotic dancer because that's what she said her profession Thank is. You, Your Honor. And I think out of respect, you should refer to it as what she calls it, okay? Damn. The kids, friends know what mama do. You see? Mm, 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 mm. It's a damn shame, y'all, when the little kids, it's probably the eight-year-old, right? They said they got an eight and five-year-old. And they're teasing him and making fun of him because mama is sliding down the pole. Okay? Ladies. Also for men, too, but it's for the ladies. Gotta watch out the kind of professions you're doing here if you're going to get involved in the exotic dancing because when the kids find out, it's going to make your kid's life a living hell and they're going to resent and hate the hell out of you. This is getting interesting here. Let's continue with the video. 
It's her career. It's what <laughs> she does. So that's what we're going to refer to it as, okay? Yes, so the children are being made fun of at school because of what mom does for a living. Yes. Okay, she was doing that when you met her, right? Yes, yeah, she was. Like I said, they was playing me in the club. And she's slowing me down, you know. Slowing How you down, bro? You down? What you mean by that? She's slowing me down because she's not taking care of the kids. She's okay. not does, out. But how does that slow you down exactly? It's slowing me down because I had a career, you know. Oh, and I, I gotta see take, what you're saying. I had to, I love Barbara. Okay. But they gonna learn how to barber with me because they up there with me all the time. I okay. need some help. And that's why we're here, yes, ma'am. Okay, and they go to school during the day, right? Yes, ma'am. But on the weekends, they're with you in at the barbershop. Right, she gets them on Tuesday and Wednesday when she's off, but that, that's not enough. Just just Tuesday and Wednesday? Just Tuesday and Wednesday. That, she, they don't spend a night or anything like that? Kids Mill and Park. What? Okay. Kids Mill Park. That's what you Are we about. serious? No, that's not what we're doing. You're not going to interrupt anymore. If I'm lying, let them know if I'm lying. I'm, you're not going to interrupt anymore. That's what we're not doing. Let me pause here, guys. I know you guys may be thinking it. Maybe you're not thinking it here. Look at her. Take a good look. She's a stripper. Exotic dancer. Sliding down the pole. Ain't the best looking one if I gotta say it. Man, I haven't really been to the strip clubs, you know, lately. Is this what y'all see in the clubs now? I see on Instagram and everything like that. I don't know if that's a facade or not, but is, is this is what they put in the clubs here? Because if that's what it is, I'm glad I ain't been visiting no clubs lately, y'all, because I would be highly disappointed. You know, the drinks are watered down in the clubs. And I gotta see this and I gotta pay for this. Oh boy. Let's continue, y'all. Okay. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Y'all. Stop apologizing because you keep doing it. Just don't do it. All right. Now. You know I'm telling the truth, y'all. Is there anything else you want me to know about the facts of this case? Not necessarily what she thinks or anything Judge like is frustrated. that. Judge That has nothing to do with what I have to do up here. No, you don't. Okay. So I can move over to her. Now it's your turn. All right. Let's see what she's going to say, y'all. Hello, Your Honor. Hi. Look at her. She's trying to be nice so now. I am here. Uh, not really sure why, because I take very good care of our children. Well, you do know why. He just said he wants some help. You slowing him down. Mm -hmm. He can't cut hair the way that he needs to and make the money he needs to because the children are always with him. I mean, they're not always with him. I do get them on Tuesdays and Wednesdays on my off days. That's something we agree to because I am bringing well, in. Hold on, hold on. Huh? Let me just clear something up. Those are the only days you get them, right? Well, like full time. I see my kids all the time, but on full time, from sun up to sundown, they're with me on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. How many days in day. a week? There's seven. All However, right, so you see them two. So five is majority of the time that they're with dad. So well, I go over or there am, and I check or on am them. Am I missing some days? No, Your Honor, you're not. But I go over there and I check on them, and but they wait. Besides checking on, wait, wait. I gotta stop this here, guys. I got to. Think about this for a second here. Uh, my math may be off here. Uh, the days of the week may be off for me here. Uh, she gets them full time on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. That's her only off days. Where are you stripping at where your only days are Tuesdays and Wednesdays? So that means you're full time stripping on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Did I get that right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then you get the kids on Tuesday and th uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. And when you have them on Tuesday and Wednesday, it's Happy Meals and at the park. God damn! Wait a minute, if you working that much at the strip club? How come you ain't got less weight on you, girl? I'm gonna go there. She looks like a little bit extra on the on the side here, and you over here stripping five days a week, and you ain't in any immaculate shape. Where the hell are you dancing at? Stay away from the club, wherever the hell she's at, guys. Let's get back to the video. They do stay overnight with him on those other five days. I have them on the days that I'm fully off, and I can tend to them and get them the meals that they like and take them to the park. But I have to make money. So and he was telling the truth. 
Well, not fully yeah. the truth because, I mean, you know, he's acting like I'm not there for him. He's complaining now. Well, you're not there. Complaints we, we just got established together. you are not there. Right, you're Judge? Never five there, you days are. a week. Never Excuse there. me. I'm, Mr. Williams, <laughs> I'm going to tell you the same thing I told her. No interruptions. Judge okay, is mad today, y'all. No, she saucy. Thank me because you've been doing it. So, mm -hmm. no, that's not what we're doing. It is not to taunt him. It's just to make sure I give him the same treatment that I gave you, okay? Now, he has not been dishonest thus far in what he said because you just confirmed it. Well, you get him on your off days, which is two days a week. The other five days, they are with him. You do Happy Meals and park. <laughs> he's taking them to school. He's feeding them. He's getting them dressed for school, getting them dressed but for. Are they in any activities? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. After school, my younger daughter, she's cheerleading. But okay, Your Honor, are I'm you the taking one, them to but cheerleading? I'm providing for them. Okay, he's not telling the financial part. Okay, so part. let's talk about that then. Let, yes. How much money okay. do you make? I do very well. That wasn't my That's question. That's exactly what she tell me. That excuse me. That I, 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 I can't, you know, I'm write sorry, down I'm very sorry. well on the child support order. I need to know how much you make in a dollar amount. 180k a year. 180k a year. Yes. How much of that 180 thousand dollars are you giving dad? Well, not necessarily giving dad, but. You mean to tell me a whole bunch of dudes is paying her 180,000 a year to dance? Hold on. She's making a buck 80 a year slide down the pole. I'm speechless, guys. If she's making 180, where the dot what are they making? What are the strippers making nowadays who are younger and in shape? And you ain't even taking care of your kid and you talking about some damn happy meals? Come on, comment section, let me know here. First of all, are y'all putting ones in her garter belt? And oh my god. You really make it almost 200 a year? I need to get off YouTube, y'all. I need to get on OnlyFans. What do y'all think? If I got on OnlyFans, would y'all support a brother? Okay, let's get back to the video. I, I, I'm caught off guard by this here. This is 180, 180 a year. Wow. And all you can do is get your kids a damn happy meal. But on my children, because I don't give it directly to him, I take care of my children. Wait a minute, hold on. Uh oh, the kids are eight and five. Right. So you right. gotta give it to him. So what are you giving him to provide for the kids? Well, I wasn't giving him anything to provide for the kids. I when my kid, when I check on my kids, I do for my kids, and I buy my kids. What stuff. does that mean? That means like uh, I come provide to things for them. I do when they're in my care. That's when I provide for them, but direct. two days a week in your care, right? Well, full we, we've time. established that. Yes. So, so what, what do you do beyond that? But as far I can't imagine giving this man any amount of money that I work hard for and he y'all hear this stripper this and I'm an exotic dancer, but he didn't have that problem when we got together and the years that we were together. He wasn't complaining then, but as regarding my children. I take very good care of them. I just can't imagine the hard work that I do. That's why my knee is messed up now because I had an injury at work. And he knows that. And then he's begging for money. Mm -hmm. I take care of my children. My he's children have not no begging. Wants. He's not. He is not. He is not. Do you hear the entitlement in this here, guys? She says, I'm not going to give him any of my hard earned money. The kids are eight and five, so she's saying that I take care of the kids. No, so when the kids are with you on Tuesday and Wednesday, you cover all the costs because they're with you. But from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, he has them all by himself as a barber. You making 200,000 a year and you ain't even giving anything? This is low down. This is despicable. She is a dead beat mom. Let that sink in. If you are making that kind of money and all you can say is I give when they're with me and I'm not going to give him any of my hardcore hard earned money, then she is what we call deadbeats. They are in women. They are mothers.
they do exist and we're showing it right here we got ourselves a goddamn deadbeat you got all this money here what are you doing with it when you don't have your kids five days a week let's get back to the video y'all begging he is telling and you to do what you should do anyway as a parent. But you're not you're in, in private, Your Honor. You're on a trying depart. to get back with me. Here, one second. Extra. Hold on, yeah, hold on. Oh, boy. It doesn't matter. That has no bearing on child support. What he says to you, what he says about you, doesn't make any never mind to me. What you say about her, what y'all's conversations are, that has no never mind, has nothing to do with child support, right, okay? But I, it's not a but. Let me ask you a question okay. because I don't want to derail this conversation in this case because I have some more that I need to get to today. Now, if you're making $180,000 a year, why aren't these children on any type of health insurance? Good question, well, Judge. Well, the well, question that I have, you know, there's no insurance offered and I mean... Well, it doesn't have to be. You're considered a independent contractor, right? Right. That means you can get private health insurance. Uh-huh. Well, did that, you know that? That's, I wasn't really, I'm not Abba, really Abba, sure Abba, how Abba, to Abba. go about doing that. I don't know um, what to do. You can Google and say to the internet how to find private health insurance. Right. I'm trying to see <laughs> Damn, Judge. He his own barbershop, and through the barbershop, I figured that that's, he could, like, he's complaining about I don't spend time oh, enough with him. Doing he that. can figure that part out. Okay, that. hold on, hold on, because hold on. My kids you see the accountability on her? Out of cash and be done. Like, insurance for what? I mean... Oh my God. Well, this child support is, wow. for what? Because no. you're definitely getting ready to pay. How about no, that? Wait, yes, no, <laughs> it's not it. no, Okay, no, we're about to get to it, y'all, Judge. You waste my time. You did come here to waste my time. You make $180,000 a year, mm -hmm. and you have not been doing what you need to be doing for these children. You don't pay for cheerleading. He, you pay for Happy Meals. And I can't act, even say you pay for the party like because the park is free. From. Your Honor, I just want to say, and he's talking about my kids being teased at school and all of that. No, he's the one being teased. He's the one that is brainwashing them to believe this stuff and want to turn my kids against me Brainless. because I don't want to be with him any longer. That's the ultimate problem. That's why we're here. Because before this, Mr. Williams didn't have any problems with me financially, taking care of my kids, providing. Your Honor, this Baby, is I'm exactly why we're not staying And you go do what you need to go do those two days a week. That was our agreement. Now you want to bash me and make it seem like I'm not there for our children? Two How days out of you? the week, Your Honor. No, it's not two days. Two days it's out of the week, and she yelling tell, full time. Okay, but what about what about that day you had an appointment and I had to watch them? What about the day you left the kids at the house to go out with your I friends? Was you know what? See, you always bringing up old stuff. Oh! You, know, you always going, Your Honor, at the end of the day, I make very good money. I do very well. And he wasn't complaining then, and now he wants to complain now. And I just don't know what to tell him, you know? But our kids is not an issue. They love me dearly. Please tell your aunt, please tell her that how much the your kids Honor, I don't love have to me. They talk about them. me I don't have to in brainwash a good way. them. They already know. No, no, no. They talk they're about me in, in a school. good way. They love their mother dearly because I'm there for them. What memories are you making with them? Do they okay, tell hold you on, hold on. at the Let park? Me, hold on. They the judge is jumping in. I let that cook for a second. You guys know. You guys watch my videos. I chop in and out. I get in and I find points here. I had to let that rock there. Can we say no accountability? And she's running in the victim Olympics. And what's my money is mine. You don't get a goddamn cent of it, even if it's for the kids. Wow. Did you hear all that word out that she was throwing out there? You trying to turn the kids away uh, against me. You over here putting things in their head. Are you a stripper? Or, okay, you wanna, you wanna hear the nice words because you feel bad about stripper. Are you an uh, exotic dancer? Do the kids' friends know about your exotic dancing? The father didn't have to do anything. You did it. That is what we see all the time when parents, especially when we see a situation here, a mother want to say, you're turning the kids against me. No, you are a grown adult. You're doing everything on your own. This is sick. And then she's going to go and say, well, we were together and everything like that. He didn't have a problem making the money. And now we're not together now. Now he got a problem now. No, 
you are a dead beat mom. You have your kids on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. He's taking his kids to the barbershop. On Saturdays, that is the busiest day in black barbershops. And he got his kids all day there at the barbershop. That's gotta be boring as hell. I've hung out at barbershops on Saturdays when it's super packed and you're waiting for your cut and then they're taking their time and everybody gets loud and the game is on and you're there forever. I can only imagine what these kids are going through. Gotta sit in the barbershop every goddamn weekend. There's nothing fun about that, especially for an eight and five year old. Lord have mercy, this woman is a piece of work. But Judge Von B is pissed off, and she said that she's going to pay. So let's see what she's going to say next here now. I love the park. Um, here's the memory we're getting ready to make because I made my ruling. You have capped out, according to Texas guidelines, your oh, gross $9,200 a month. Child support is set at $2,300. You're going to do a you. reimbursement to Medicaid for $276, making your monthly um, child support payment $2,576. <laughs> that's Thank how much you, you got to pay. No, that's nah. how much you got to pay. <laughs> the children live with him. Look at Yo, screenshot that to get captured. She really thought that he was going to pay $2,500 a month. <laughs> what did you thought? You make $200,000 a year. You really thought you was going to get off with not paying no support? He got the kids five days a week, and you thought he was going to pay $2,500 to you? Guys, do you see how this works here? Women think that men will pay child support even when they have custody. How many support court fees have I done where that the man has custody and he's paying child support? There's a video that I have here where he, the man had custody of his kid for the last three years and he was still paying child support and he had to go to court to get it modified. You see how she was jumping up? She was happy, yeah! She thought that he was gonna pay because they always think that we have to pay. Look at that, screenshot that. Look at that payment she gotta do there. Well, let's finish this video off. Thank you, you are. I don't see the celebration. Thank you. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. what, what happened to the celebration? Because yeah. you're the one that's paying that $2,576. The children live with him. He should not pay you anything. Thank you, you are. And I said I made my ruling, so I really don't have to hear anything further. Did you have any questions about that number? Not at this time, Your Honor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you have any questions? Not this time, Your Honor. All right. If there's nothing further, the both of you are dismissed. Oh boy, that's the end of the video there. Shout out to Judge Von Der B. Okay, family, friends, tribe. Just all think about this video, especially the end. She really thought, you saw that hardcore laugh, that he was gonna pay. Women think that guys have to pay all the time, even if they need to shoulder responsibility. I showed this video on purpose because this is a result when we mess with the wrong women, man. Here's the thing. Maybe she looked better in her prime when she was stripping like 10 years ago when she was going up and down the pole like P Valley, you know, where the girls get naked. Okay, but let's just be honest, guys. Why would you put yourself in a situation to give your seed to a woman who was constantly riding the cock carousel of every man from Thursday to Monday? Where is the benefit to you if you're dealing with a woman like this? And now that you have kids with a woman like this, you hear how she talks to him. You see the indignation. You see the entitlement. You see how the fact that even the kids were with him, you can't get none of my money. I'll give the kids money when they're with me. You got to figure it out. Even though he has full-time custody. Men, we have to be careful who we lay down with, who we associate with, who we bring around our kids, who we're just around in general, who's our circle, who is our tribe, especially the women who we want to date and be with and procreate and have kids with. I always going to say, so I'm going to keep saying it again, marry before you carry. And another thing too, you do not wife up a 304. Dancer, stripper, exotic, OnlyFans, whatever the case may be, a woman like this, it is not intuitive for a healthy nuclear relationship. Here he is, he's not perfect. I'm not gonna let him off the hook saying that, you know, he's his perfect model, but at least he is doing what he needs to do for his two kids. And she's out here talking about, I do what I do when I can, I take him to the park and get happy meals. Guys, 
do you really want a woman so all she does is buy Happy Meals? Think about that. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, why you gotta, you gotta deal with the kids by yourself and then you gotta deal with the attitude whenever you communicate. So let's be careful. Let's be mindful. Don't just look at the booty. Don't think about it's buns glazing season. We gotta think of the long-term ramp effect things that can happen if we lay down with the wrong, wrong woman. Otherwise, we're gonna be in Judge Von the Beast court hearing this attitude and gotta go through this, not just for the first 18 years, it's for how long those kids are around. The kids may be 18, you may be done paying child support, but you still gotta deal with that person. Comment, like, subscribe, click on that bell notification below. I wanna know what you think about my commentary, what you think about Judge Von the Beast and the two people in this court going at it here with Happy Meals. <laughs> but until next time, I'm that dude named Dave. See y'all later, YouTube world.